Hi all and welcome back to our channel. So today let's discuss about cash in or cash out in order 14 point of sale. So this cash and cash out option is available when we enable advanced cash control feature in point of sale settings. So here um, let me just go to settings. So we have to make sure that the session is closed. Then only we can make modification to settings, point of sale settings. So here you can find that option advanced cash control. It's already enabled for our retail shop. So here we can set an average difference. Uh, so let me set as 10. And we can see this cash control uh, box can be set at opening and closing. Okay, so let me save this after changing the average difference. And after that, let's start a new session. So here we can see the opening amount. So we can change this. We can set cash opening amount. Okay, let me pass it as thousand and then we can click open. So from here we can make payments so that is make orders. Okay, you can see the total amount is 51.90. And just click payment and select the payment method and validate this. Okay, and again you can make order or we can just close the session. So let me close this uh, point of sale interface. Okay, then here we can find option to close the session. So when you click on close, here we can see the uh, session details like open by point of sale, journal entry, uh, opening date. And here we can see additional option that is here we can see the cash control, uh, details related to cash control. So here we can see the uh, transaction, total amount, uh, total transaction amount, then expected in cash and we can see the actual in cash. So here along with these details, we can find an option to put money in or take money out. So put money in is a cash in and is primarily used to put money manually before starting your transfer from the register transaction window. Uh, in contrast, take money out is a cash out and is primarily used to collect or get our cash manually after ending all transfers from the register transfer window. So here, uh, if you want to put money in, you can specify the reason and add a positive amount. Or if you and if you want to take money out, you have to set the amount as negative. So, one take amount for lunch, negative hundred, and you can just click on this take money in or out. So okay, now you can see the transaction changed to negative forty eight and expected in cash changed. And if you want to put money in, then you can see the positive amount and now you can see the transaction again changed. So then you can see the orders, so this is the previous order and payment. Okay, now it is possible to continue sell or end the session. So when you click on end of session, here you can see the uh, closing difference. So, uh, negative 1,151.90 is the closing difference. But we have set an authorized difference for our uh, point of sale as 10. So, but this one is above that. So, if you want to put some money in, that is we can set closing cash. So, just click on that or you can put cash money in. So, here we can set the bill amount. Now you can see the difference is 848.10 and 
income yet. I want to put money in. You can do that. And here, if you click on take money in now, you can see now the before closing difference is 8.10. And you can close session and post entry. Okay, so the session is closed. So this is because we have a difference 8.10, but uh, that is authorized because we have set 10 as authorized difference for our point of sale. Okay, and if you have a difference greater than authorized difference, you can either put money in or you can add that amount to lose account. So that's all about cash in or cash out in order 14 point of sale.